our tagline, if you will, is dine well, do good. So we want people to have a great meal in a great atmosphere, but know they're also helping people in need. We try to inspire change and enrich our community by helping people who are affected by homelessness and poverty. Our menus do say a little bit about what we do here. We have our mission statement up on the wall so people can learn a bit more about us if they want to. But we also like to be recognised on the quality of our food. We call it modern American with a twist. We like people to be able to get exactly what they want for their brunch. We change our lunch menu every few months. It's a really good selection, mixed with vegetarian. We have a fixed price dinner menu, offers great value. Our customer base is great. Our morning coffee people, our breakfast customers and our dinner customers in particular become a lot of regular faces, which is great. We've really enjoyed a lot of community support. I would love people to tell their friends they're getting a great value meal, great quality food, fabulous service, and they're doing good for their heart as well. So Jason, you say that dining at Cafe 2 is almost too good to be true. Tell us why you chose it. Well, I chose it. Uh, a couple of friends of mine at work told me about Cafe 2 a while back, so we checked it out for uh, brunch one day. Really liked that and decided to go back and try the uh, dinner. And uh, the dinner, I think, is it's a wonderful value. Three courses for $18 and uh, the atmosphere, um, the, the message behind it, it's a wonderful place and I can't stop going. No. Well, let's get right into it. Tell us what the message of the place is. Well, they, they're based uh, from another restaurant called the Inspiration Cafe. This is Cafe 2, um, and it's a smaller place, but they specialize in second chances. They employ uh, homeless individuals in the area and also students, um, giving everyone a chance to learn valuable job skills and otherwise experience they wouldn't have. Well, the message of the restaurant is, as you said, they take individuals who have had you know, a, a sour lot in life, and they give an opportunity to gain job training skills. So they employ them in the restaurant, and so those are the people that are, are back in the kitchen, they're waiting on you, et cetera. And yes, if you did. didn't know about the mission and sort of the message and sort of the, uh, the reason for why the restaurant exists, would you know automatically when you Absolutely walk in? Absolutely not. The area was a little iffy, but yet going there, the space was very clean, mm -hmm. very nice, very fresh. Uh, full of sunshine. Mm -hmm. uh, the staff was fabulous, I thought. But again, I had no clue the reasoning unless I really did my research before it. Yeah, I think that's where they succeed. Yeah. But the bottom line is, would I go there for food? And I mean, the food, I had a uh, black bean sandwich, and it was okay. It was not nothing special, but mm -hmm. if I were to be in the area, I would definitely stop by because I knew what it caused right. for food. Easy. You said you had gone there for lunch. It sounds mm -hmm. like you've been there for lunch. Okay. I went for dinner and my experience, totally different. Right. I mean, the quality of food, I really thought it was at a five-star restaurant. Okay. And so I would suggest that perhaps you go back there because uh, I had the shrimp skewer. Okay. I had tomato bisque. Uh, the pork loin with the garlic mashed potatoes. The dessert was wonderful. I just loved it. I just thought everything was above board, value. And I had the five course meal because I go all the <laughs> way with things. And it's 25 bucks and you just can't beat 20. that. $25, just wonderful food. So I really would suggest that maybe you go back and give it a chance for dinner. But if the person in the area for lunchtime I shouldn't have an idea that I gotta go back for dinner. I should be there for a good lunch. You had the black bean burger. Yes. Was it the quality? Was it the presentation? The taste? What sort of fell short uh, for you? It, the taste was, it was nothing overwhelming. It was just very, it was okay. Presentation was very lovely. Mm -hmm. I admired the presentation. I think they do a fantastic job. The staff, they're wonderful. Uh, they're very knowledgeable about their product and they're very happy to work there. You could really feel it. Was it a good deal at least for lunch? Uh, absolutely. I give you that. See? <laughs> <laughs> what came along with your burger? Um, we had the fried tortilla. It was Yummy. fabulous. That was fabulous. Fried tortilla. Is How can you not love it? <laughs> <laughs> Jason, what are some of your favorite dishes to get there? Um, I, I've been in love with the pork loin for a long time. Um, brunch does well for me. If you can't do a scramble right, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> um, no, eggs are actually very difficult to get. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But if, if, the, if you're doing a brunch menu, you've got to yeah, do you it Yeah, you've got to make good eggs. Yeah, That's yeah. True. Um, but the, the cornbread stuffed chicken that I had the other night was 
was fantastic. I think that's my new favorite. Tell us about the neighborhood. It's in Uptown. It's in Uptown. Um, it's, it can be iffy. That's a good way to say it. There's a lot of um, homeless shelters. I mean, do you get the sense when you go there, you get that true feel of the people that you're benefiting, perhaps? I think so, yeah. Or I think, do you think I it think detracts it, from the restaurant? No, I think, it, I think it causes it to ring true a little more. I think that uh, you, you can't help but notice it walking in. And, and when you find out, if you didn't know in the first place where you were there, um, that it definitely clicks for you. Yeah, you know, that's really interesting because <clears throat> I was there with my girlfriend and we kept looking out at the view and mm -hmm. she kept commenting. And I said, but this place, is it has a mission. Mm -hmm. And I keep thinking about it just in my own life and career. Sure. I like giving people check second chances and assisting. Mm -hmm. And she just kept looking out and I was like, wow. But look at the people who are working in here. They used to be out there. Danielle, I fully agree with you as far mm -hmm. as the mission. And I said, if I didn't know, I mean, that's what truly affected me and it made an impact. And so I didn't really look at the food and yet, but then when I separated myself, only food, that's a different review. That's mm -hmm. why. But as far as the mission, I do. I think it's fabulous. Walking in, it is like a sunshine. Mm -hmm. You forget for a second where you are and it just lifts you up. It puts a smile on your face yeah. and that's, it and it makes you feel good. It makes you feel very mm -hmm. welcomed. And I felt that, like warm. Well, it's sort of, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel for some yes. of these yep. people. So you Absolutely. sort of, you know, you get the, the warmth and the hope. vibrance, mm -hmm. the light of hope. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> well, Jason, you recommended Cafe 2. Sum it up for us. I think, you know, the feeling in your heart is, uh, is better than the feeling in your stomach even sometimes. Yana? It's definitely food with a soul because it has a mission and a purpose. And Danielle? Mission, service, and uh, food. Great food. All right, well, you can eat your heart out at Cafe 2, 4715 North Sheridan, 773-275-0626. Open for breakfast every day, for lunch Tuesday through Sunday, and for dinner Thursday through Saturday. Reservations are accepted for lunch and dinner. Alcoholic beverages are BYOB, and the average tab per person is $25. Mm -hmm.